Welcome to our second For Honor Champion Guide. In this video we're taking a closer look at the Kensei. We'll get into the armor, weapon, feats, moveset combinations and give our recommendations on how to get the most out of this champion. The Kensei is a vanguard, similar to the Warden and the Raider. The vanguards are balanced type of warriors that are decently quick yet do good amounts of damage too. The Kensei is quite slow in comparison to the other vanguards, but he deals a lot of damage, even for the vanguard class. The name Kensei means Master Swordsman, referring to his or her skills with the Nodachi, a longer version of the Katana. To wield such a weapon requires great skill, but that's no problem for the Kensei. As you will notice, when playing this champion the attacks are slow, but deal a lot of damage due to the size of the weapon. The armor of the Kensei consists of a solid metal cuirass with a dragon head on the front and wooden plates hanging from his or her shoulders. Underneath he or she wears an obisage or rope and light leather armor. On the head he wears a kabuto or helm and a menpo or mask to primarily protect but also to intimidate. This altogether gives him or her 5 bars of health, which is very good, but definitely not the biggest health pool. Before we get into the movesets for this champion, let's discuss the style of combat. Since it's a vanguard, it handles pretty basic, similar to the warden and raider. But you need to keep in mind that he's much slower in his attacks, probably due to the size of the Nodachi. In combat, this means that you need more patience when comparing the Kensei to other champions. It often works best to attack right after the opponent has attacked you, since this doesn't allow them to counter or dodge. Another way to deal with the slower attacks is fainting. Cancel your heavy attacks before hitting to throw the opponent off his game and quickly follow it up with a light or heavy attack from another direction. The Kensei can be fast however, but for that you can use the combos. It's overall best to stay at a distance since the size of the Nodachi means that you can detect from ranges that you wouldn't expect. These are the basic rules of fighting with the Kensei. Counter attack, stay at a distance and faint. Overall the Kensei is strong against heavies and assassins. The heavies need to get in close so if you stay at a distance you should be fine. The assassins are quick but need to be able to get in close as well so keep your distance and you should be okay. An effective way to counter the Kensei is to choose the other vanguards or the hybrids. The vanguards are balanced warriors that have a bit of range and are decently quick in countering or dodging attacks. This makes it harder to counter them. The hybrids, the Valkyrie in particular, have range on their side. The aggressive nature and long range of the Valkyrie make her an effective counter against the Kensei. With the strategies out of the way, Let's learn those movesets. Similar to most champions, he can start off the fight with a simple attack while sprinting. Rushing sweep, as it's called, requires you to perform a heavy attack while sprinting. It's a great way to start off the fight. Chaining attacks is the bread and butter of this champion. The Kensei has one more chain attack than most, if not all the champions, with a total of 4 chain attacks. Dawn of the Steel Sun requires you to successfully land 3 light attacks. Time these moves well, or they won't connect. Any chain attack that ends in a top heavy attack becomes unblockable and allows you to get in some good damage. When ending with a side heavy attack, it allows the opponent to block, but for the sake of variety, throw in a couple of those as well. When you do that, you will glow white, indicated that you have super armor during the attack and you can't be harmed. In order to perform Spirit of the Inevitability, you need to perform two light attacks followed by a heavy attack. Form of the Dragon requires you to perform a light attack followed by two heavy attacks. And the final chain attack, called Doom of the Kensei, is performed by doing three heavy attacks.
when performing a chain that ends in a top heavy attack and you see the opponent getting ready to dodge or counter attack you can cancel this attack by changing your guard to the left or right and performing a light attack this is called a soft feint because it doesn't require you to press the cancel button something that not all champions have We talked about keeping some distance between you and the opponent, since he has two moves that can quickly close the distance and take the opponent by surprise. First up is the Helm Splitter, which allows you to dash forward and hit the opponent with a quick strike from above. Perform this by pressing forwards, dodge, followed by a light attack. The second move that is very similar to the Helm Splitter is Grasping Pounce. It allows you to dash forward and guard break the opponent in one quick move, which they often don't see coming. This opens up a window to continue with any of the four chain attacks. In order to not become predictable, you should use the Helm Splitter and Grasping Pounce interchangeably. If you are forced in a more defensive role, the Kensei has something for that too. Similar to the Orochi and unlike the other vanguards, the Kensei can perform Swift Strike, which allows you to dodge an incoming attack to the left or the right, followed by a Swift Strike from the side. You can perform this by dodging left or right and performing a light attack after. This is one of the many ways for the Kensei to quickly damage the opponent in a counter-attacking style of combat. When double guard breaking the opponent, you can daze them, making it impossible for them to see your stance. Follow this up with a top heavy attack to deal some heavy damage. Lastly, he also has the zone attack, when pressing the light and the heavy attack at the same time. This consists of two attacks that are very effective against multiple opponents or minions, but this does cost you a lot of stamina, about 75%. After the first attack, you can cancel it. We recommend you to do this when you are vulnerable to an opponent's attack. Finally, let's take a look at the feats. Uh, this time we're not going through all of them, uh, we're just gonna put them on screen and you can see which one he has and which ones we recommend. We have been asked to focus on the weapon and gear and give our recommendations, but we'll cover the gear and weapon in an individual episode, since this mostly stays the same for each champion. We hope you found the information that you needed to master this champion. If you are interested in any of the other champions, you can click on that champion and it will refer you to their in-depth guide once it's made. Now go practice your Kensei to become a master swordsman yourself.